Hi everyone, uh, in this course uh, I want to show some example of, of operators in RxJS. So here is a, we have a, a rxjs.dev uh, website and we can start with the get started operators we have uh, many type of uh, operators in this course I want to show some example about transformation operators with buffer with a map scan switch map window count and other so <coughs> I will uh, use stackblades.com for this uh, course and um, that's so we uh, started from a buffer and I want to show you some example here so let's get started so let's start it with um, buffer uh, regular buffer operator uh, let's open stackblitz.com and we can choose rxjs typescript section here and create new project it automatically created new project for us with uh, some little example of, of an operator and a map that's observable so <clears throat> let's change some of the code here. So we can delay this and here. Import interval interval timer and <coughs> also we can import buffer buffer. First, switch the clean console with the clean function. Hmm. After the const serve first, go to interval. Okay, let's say 500 in a second and source dot type buffer uh, inside this uh, uh, would So regular buffer, uh, what it does, it it, it mm, takes any observable right here. Mm, <coughs> uh, let's say timer, and it does buffer until that rate. It's timer. For example, thousand. Mm, and buffers and <coughs> it does uh, buffers until that rate that observable uh, that observable 
emits so that this time it only fired once actually an interval might be more interesting so I pull pull an interval here so I put the interval here and will subscribe So I speed up uh, time a little bit with the hundred and this one up. Uh, so this one is emitting multiple, but multiple, but um, every single time this interval fires, you see it admits emits a new buffer right and so this is that so it's not doing it by count now it's just saying hey every uh, single time whatever observable here emits then I want to admit the buffer so I could do something like I could get up here and I could uh, like let's use uh, from uh, bench and I could say uh, from event so we import uh, we need to import from uh, event from event here and we will change here instead of the interval we use the from event and so from event document document change this to click and so every time I when I click to So I need to refresh. Okay. <coughs> so when I click to the browser, uh, you can get uh, from event uh, this console data here. So I click, I get uh, what what's it, uh, whatever it uh, has been built up in uh, the buffer, right? And if I click faster, then uh, buffer is a smaller. Buffer is a smaller, <coughs> but the buffer just uh, builds and builds and builds until an event fires the primary use case around buffering is uh, I have uh, some expensive things I want to do with this value but I don't want to do it on every single click or tick I want to wait and do a bunch of them at once and then do a bunch of them at once 
well let's say your app is recording mouse movement and then sending it over the wire right to some server you don't want to <coughs> send a signal over the wire every single mouse event right click uh, right like or if you have a got like a game or something like that you want to send like a batch of movements over so you are going to want to buffer them and then send them occasionally instead of uh, <coughs> like uh, just uh, spamming your server and you know floating your connection with a bunch of individual requests but that's the real thing around the buffer is uh, like uh, oh I'm gonna figure I'm using this as a way to kind of uh, throw how many things I'm going to be dealing with either sending over the wire or process locally or whatever it's just a means for kind of limiting like uh, how much work that you are doing that makes things Hi everyone, today we are gonna learn about the buffer count Okay, what the buffer count does uh, is it allows you to buffer up in an of a certain size so if you say buffer count 3 what will happen is, uh, is <coughs> this will go for a while so let's uh, write our function buffer count Let's say three and let's set a console lock. I in the response. Okay. Okay. You can see that we have. Um, element every console with the interval buffer count we what will happen is <coughs> this will go for a while and then it will get the three values and the speed it out and then three values and split split it out so and so forth this is the most common way that people use it I want to give a, to get a collections of the three things uh, what is the difference is you can do thing like you could uh, say buffer count you want the buffer size to be let's say two let's change a code uh, here we'll give it two and we add the one to every buffer size in uh, but you want to start uh, the buffer every one element so this is a previous um, and the current previous and the current previous and the current right like so this is uh, like one trick so if you want to get the previous and the current value you could do this there is actually another one called pairwise that does sing uh, does something similar let's let's 
say we delete buffer count in the end. Say white. Say white buffer count. Say white. And we will delete. It's the same thing you see you get the previous and the current previous and the current previous and the current before the paralyzed in a buffer count to one they are basically the same thing so that's it for buffer count we will continue with another operators So let's see a buffer time. Let's buffer time. Yeah, buffer time. And I will update and we give a time maybe thousand. Okay, so. And buffer time is uh, pretty much uh, what it sounds like. Give it some sort of uh, time in which you want. If there is only one value, that's uh, when the closing are. So this is uh, going to close every second and it will admit empty buffer. So we are refreshing the page and we'll open the console. Okay. If we click Okay. Okay. In this lesson, <coughs> we are discussing about the buffer toggle operator. So let's get started with uh, changing. <coughs> okay. Let's. It says from event from event click this search by buffer title. Toggle and interval. Let's say interval is a thousand. The buffer toggle actually collects values from uh, the past as an array. Uh, starts collecting only <coughs> when the opening emits and the calls the closing selector function to get an observable that tells when to close a buffer so let's make some example inter interval value interval value <coughs> so 
volume or this ain't really thousand. Okay. Okay, let's go for our oh, first. We need to. Uh, <coughs> add the from event and save and refresh the page. see is a uh, buffer toggle work correctly so that's it you can um, play with um, buffer toggle to <coughs> and to see this example how uh, how it's work thank you okay in this lesson we we will uh, <coughs> discuss about buffer when. Uh, okay, let's import buffer when. fresh okay so how, how it's work here is uh, <coughs> buffer and collects value from the past as an array when it starts collecting value it calls a function that returns an observable that tells uh, when to close the buffer and restarting collecting and they restart collecting <coughs> starts buffer starts buffer uh, right away and then it calls uh, to this <coughs> calls uh, this to see uh, how long that buffer should the past uh, should the last Mm, and then that's it so this is you could do uh, the same thing with the uh, other buffer if you want it so that's all okay <coughs> uh, in this lesson we're gonna learn about concat map uh, you can find from rxjs.dev side operator section and here we have a image that can describe how it works okay and the first uh, if we have observable uh, we'll get a <coughs> data from stream and uh, first uh, we apply this function to first element 
after that in second element and so on conquered make uh, first <coughs> uh, takes uh, every data from uh, stream and uh, uh, step by step uh, it will finish uh, with all uh, item inside the data so uh, let's write some example okay closed Available const result click spike concat map concat map and we have um, Interval, let's say thousand and with uh, pipe uh, we use take four Response with the console log. Okay, and we will save this. Okay, okay, we can refresh. And let's see how it works with this function. So when I click, you can see that we have a data which published in the console window. Uh, let's say concat map returns an observable <coughs> that emits items based on applying a function set view supply to each item emitted by the search observable where that function returns an observable each new inner observable is concatenated with the previous inner observable let's say if, if source value arrive endless and faster than their corresponding inner observables can complete it will result in memory issue as inner observables ms in uh, unbounded buffer waiting for their turn to be subscribed to so that's it you can uh, try make some more example is uh, your data from a server okay here we have um, the next operator is a concat map too okay let's um, deep type to concat map too uh, we have already deprecation nodes that will be removed in version 9 use a concat map instead so what is a concat map it's like um, it's uh, what is a concat map too it's like concat map but maps each value always the same 
in their observable. So maps each value <coughs> uh, to the given observable in their observable regardless of the source value and then flatten those resulting uh, observables into one single observable which is the output observable. Each new inner observable instance emitted on uh, the output observable is concatenated with the previous in previous observable instance. If source value arrive endlessly and faster than their corresponding inner observable can complete uh, it will result in a memory issue as inner observables amass in a, an unbounded buffer waiting for their turn to be subscribed to. Concat map is equivalent to merge map to. Uh, we will be discuss in the future curse uh, with the merge map to also with the con with the concurrency parameter set to one. Okay, let's uh, look at an example here. We have a given example. Uh, I will use the stackblitz.com. Uh, okay, we have a simple uh, function for each uh, click event, tick every second from uh, 0 to 3 with the no concurrency. So let's try. On the first click, Here's the second click. Okay. Uh, okay. This uh, we got. Uh, we got an event from from event. Here is a document, and here is a click event string. And uh, you can use. We have already mentioned in the stack blitz that is deprecated, and will be removed in version nine. So. If you have a um, concat map 2 in your project, you can uh, replace with a concat map. And uh, you get the same result. Uh, that's all for this uh, concat map operator. Thank you. Okay, we have uh, in the list, we have exist map. Uh, okay, we have a deprecation note or name it to exist all that uh, will be removed in uh, version 8. So let's jump to uh, exist map. So here we have uh, so exist map uh, uh, project each source value to an observable which is merged in the output observable only if the previous project observable has completed so returns an observable that emits uh, item based on applying uh, functions that you supply to each item emitted by the source observable where uh, that uh, function returns a so called inner observable when it projects a source value to an observable, the output uh, observable begins emitting the items emitted by that uh, project observable. However, exist map ignores every new projected observable if the pro previous uh, projected observer has not completed. Once that one completes, it will accept and flatten the next projected observer. Let's see how it works in an example. So uh, here we have a function, have a observer from event uh, click, and um, we will use when we click, we uh, we will use a, a exist map. Exist map uh, with the interval in the pipe with the take of five. So uh, let's try. When I click here, it will show five uh, number and stop. If I click, if I double click here, 
uh, I, I only get one observable in the first one and the second one uh, ignored because uh, the first observable is not uh, published yet so it's uh, very useful uh, when we have a uh, click something like that uh, double click or many clicks of uh, of some button for example if we have a login page or some button we need uh, the first uh, click and uh, we don't want to get uh, another clicks for uh, requesting the uh, for, uh, API to the server uh, this operator can help us uh, with a, uh, handle this problem so that's it uh, you can uh, try your, by yourself so thank you okay uh, next operator is uh, expand so what we have here here here's a diagram that it's similar to manage map that applies a project function to every source value as well as every output value it's recursive uh, so it returns an observable that emits items based on applying a function that you supply to each item emitted by the source observable where the function returns an observable and then merging those resulting observables and emitting the results of this merger Expand will remit on the output observable every source value. Then each output value is given to the project function which returns an inner observable to be merged on output observable. Those output values resulting from uh, projection uh, are so given to the project function to produce new output. Uh, this is uh, how expand behaves uh, recursively. So let's look at the example. Here we have example uh, with the expand. We will use the map, and al also we have a front a from event uh, operator which we can uh, catch all, all, all clicks we have. So. Uh, expand use the function to uh, every data and you can use uh, for example when I click uh, to the browser it will start and we can see the five values of this function uh, they give uh, each uh, data to the uh, this function and uh, this function <clears throat> multiply by two these values and uh, come back again and uh, use this uh, function recursively and we can uh, uh, if you want to handle data with uh, some recursion recursively function you can uh, use these functions uh, op uh, use you can use this operator so that's it So next operator is a uh, group by. Uh, what is a group by? Now when an observer limits an item, a key is computed for this uh, item with a key function. If a group observable for this key exists, this group observable emits. Otherwise, a new go group observable for this key is created and emits. A group of group of observable represents value belonging f to the same group represented by a common key. The common key is available as a key field of a uh, group of observable instance. The elements emitted by the uh, group of observable are by default the item emitted by the observable 
or element returned by the element function. Uh, we go look at the signature of the group by. Uh, there are uh, four parameters. This is a key selector, element duration, and the connector. There is a key selector uh, which which is a which is a thing that we are grouping things by. There is another one <coughs> called the element selector uh, we are not going to be going to get too much into that but it's kind of like of uh, a short a shortcut format where uh, we could uh, do some sort of transformation but there is a third uh, third one called the duration selector that we want to look at the duration selector returns an observable that will actually clean up those group when they uh, notify or complete it so that sounds pretty good and uh, last is a connector um, a connector is um, <coughs> factor function to create a uh, intermediate subjects through which group it element or emitted so let's jump to the example we have a uh, given example here for example if we have a uh, array and uh, observable here is JavaScript Purcell webpack TypeScript testlint and we have the same ID in a JavaScript object and uh, uh, object with the name TypeScript. So uh, uh, when we use uh, group but by, we will group it in uh, objects which uh, have the uh, same ID. We uh, this is a key for the group ID to find uh, by ID all objects all elements inside this observable so we can see here in the console we have the first object is a job in inside the first array we have uh, two objects JavaScript and a TypeScript already sorted here and we have a second array we have a pair cells with ID 2 Two, and we have a web pack with ID 2 so in the last one is uh, test length with ID 3 so you can use if you have a uh, something like the big array with uh, IDs or some key which you want to sort with you can use a group by it's very uh, very good operator for sorting things by ID or some uh, op <coughs> some elements. So that's it. It's uh, group by operator. Thank you. Okay. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to learn about map. Map is the <coughs> very easy operators inside the RxJS mm, it's very simple it's similar to well-known array prototype dot map function this operator applies a projection to each value and um, emits uh, that projection in the output observable just like this can see in the graphic we have uh, some observable stream and with the map we can uh, change and uh, back to the return uh, observable just like this okay so if you if you, uh, we have a given example here uh, if you ha click to the window you're gonna get only X 
<coughs> only client X from uh, mouse movement if I delete this we got the object from a click event so just refresh it okay but can you see that we have a mouse movement object and we also <coughs> return client y so you can uh, use this map operator to change some observable and return new observable it's very simple and it's very useful thank you that's all okay next operator is a uh, map 2 but uh, we have a node that describe deprecation node uh, you can use instead the map so just like this you can mm, so just like map person like map like map but it's map a resource value to the same output value every time so I think mm, better use map in new version you can use map with all functionality so that's so hope it it will be useful for you if you looking map to operator uh, thank you okay, so this video in this video we are going to have a look at uh, how we can merge the result the value of the two observables into one using a merge map operator merge map, merge map will take an outer observable and then <coughs> merge inner observable into it and uh, whenever the inner observable then emits a value it will also take the value of the uh, outer observable into one account to give us a combined value you can uh, see from uh, <coughs> from uh, a graph that we have a two observable and with a merge merge map we can uh, merge all together you can uh, write any function here and you will get in one big observable so it's very useful. Let's see. we have a we have an example here. Let's have a look at this example. So, so open in the stackpolice.com. So here. <coughs> we have a this kind of example if you merge it to observable from uh, letters of operator and interval let's change this let's duplicate this letters let's say 2 and the value 1 2 and three and we can uh, add here a letter two <coughs> no, sorry letter two so oh my god letters two Okay, here we have a uh, merged observable. Let's add some string here to 
show more clearly. So have a first value and so on like this. You can merge you can use a merge map to merge to observable or more observables here and you will get to one big observable. That's it. Thank you for your time. So in this video we are going to look at the merge map too. But we have a deprecation nodes and it will be removed in version 9. You can use a merge map instead. So let's read the description. It's like merge map but maps which value always to the same inner observer. But in the merge map if you use a merge map you can uh, uh, make more efficient way and you can use the merge map instead of this uh, operator so that's all <coughs> so in this lesson we're going to look at this merge screen operator is merge screen is it's like a scan but is but the observable returns by the accumulator are merged into the outer observable uh, you, you have a accumulator sa seed concurrent number so we have a given example let's switch to stack blitz here uh, we have a uh, click event from event and uh, every click we got the uh, click observer and uh, with a map operator we turn one so and every <coughs> every value we added one and return uh, another merged observable and we showed here with the console let's click one okay let's second click two because we have a combinator and we have a we have a result just like this if we change one to ten and we need to refresh okay ten twenty thirty just like this it's very useful that's it thank you very much pairwise in this course we're going to talk about the rxjs operator pairwise this combination operator may look strange at the first but answer of the question yes pairwise deals with the pairs of the value and uh, to be more specific it groups uh, those pairs of a consecu consecutive value together as an, an array of previous and uh, the current value pairwise probably won't be the most common operator um, you will use in a, your day today but uh, it does provide an elegant solution for calculating relative difference between difference between the last emitted value and the current value in observable stream. So you can see here in the description, put the current value and the previous value together as an array and emit Z. Here we have a graph that we have a two observable and pairwise work like this so we have a given example here let's say we have a requirement to keep <coughs> on every click starting from second emit relative distance to the previous click so here is example 
so we need to refresh for this and so you can uh, see that we got uh, from event operator every click from a document and the pairs and pipe pairwise and we <coughs> we have a distance uh, with the pipe we get the, error, the first and the second click and we will calculate uh, all these points and they give the result so first click here and the second click here like this we have a um, calculating point if we click double click on the same point we have a zero uh, if we change position we get other values so that's it it's very useful uh, rxjs operator thank you okay next operator is a partition operator and the first we can see that we have deprecation nodes the partition <coughs> replace it with a partition static creation function will be removed in version 8 okay so uh, it's like filter but returns to observable one like the output of filter and the other with values that didn't pass the condition so we have we have a image we have observable if you want to use partition o operator here we can get odd number and even numbers uh, we, we get two observables so it's useful but you can use a filter instead of a uh, partition operator so that's it thank you Uh, okay, uh, we have uh, another operator. Is a name is a plaque. So um, maps each source value to its specified nested proper property. Uh, and uh, we have a uh, deprecation nodes that we can use a map operator and optional changing um, plaque. Uh, property name bar is a map x x and uh, property name or any name of a specific uh, object value uh, and we have uh, it will be removed in version 8 so we have a image that uh, if we um, plug from property with a name we can uh, get value like this like here we have a given example uh, we have a click event uh, and we got with a plaque uh, with a tag name in this target so if we click here that HTML it's, uh, just tag name so that's it if you want to use use map operator